second year that the challenge has been offered. And we think it offers an excellent opportunity for students to tie the theory of STEM into the practicality of STEM. We think a lot of times that's what's missing. Students sit in a science class and they learn the theory of reactions and basic scientific principles. <coughs> but we're not able to tie that into something practical. And that's what we're seeing here today and with this challenge. The ability of our students to identify problems that are facing them or their communities and to implement STEM in a very realistic and practical manner to solve these problems. And you are to be highly commended for that. So give yourselves a round of applause. A hearty round of applause. Not every student who was presented with this challenge was able to rise to the occasion, so to speak. So I think you're a very special group of students who sees the positive impact that taking part in a challenge such as this can offer to you. And I commend you for that as well. We hope that this will not be the end of our relationship. We thank Sajapur for their tremendous investment in the youth of our, not just Barbados, but our region. And we thank CXC for sharing our vision and to offering us a chance to utilize their resources to get the knowledge of this project. Missionary's challenge has been a long but very rewarding journey for us at Sajapur. And we hope it has inspired you, students and teachers to embrace the science, technology, engineering, and maths, the STEM projects, as we all know them. Many of you, I'm sure, are thrilled to be here and wondering who has won this competition that will come later. Our partners, the CSF and the Caribbean Exam Council, have been an integral part of this whole idea, this whole project, sharing their expertise and contributing to the development and the success of the challenge which you all participated in. From the inception, the Ministry of Education, teachers and students in Barbados have supported the challenge and responded with much enthusiasm. At the introductory workshops of Sajapur Science Champions in Barbados, brainstormed many ideas with teachers and students and helped you to realize how simple it was to identify very small and simple issues in the community that needed to be addressed and how you could contribute the success of addressing those, those, um, those issues and, and finding ways to solve them. From there, the participants took the news of the challenge back to the schools, as we all know. And as a result this year, we have eight, in the eight countries where the challenges were held, we received over 250 submissions from over 100 schools. So Barbados, you understand the challenges we face. There's a lot of competition over there. 250 submissions. I think one country had over 40, uh, I believe, in one of, the, one of the, the countries that we have the competition going on in. So you can see the sort of excitement in many of the items. It was our hope when the challenge was launched that we would open up the minds of the region's students. And I think we have been able to do that. And we want to provide a more in-depth exposure to the sciences and in particular sustain. As a company, which operates in, around the region and even globally. We value the communities in which we operate and we seek to make a positive contribution in those communities. You will know we believe in, in, in working with the youth in many of our countries. And it is important that we take this opportunity to do so in the area of STEM. And I hope that new students may be most of this opportunity. We hope that by the involvement in these type of projects, you it will pave the way for innovative developments which will improve the lives of generations to come in the region. Today we will celebrate the winners of the challenge by every participant in here, even those who tried but maybe didn't have the confidence to come here today and put their project on the tables for judging. You deserve to be commended for your efforts. We are not only selecting a team to represent Barbados today, but the top three teams will take away prizes to help enhance the learning for your classmates and for your entire school. Prizes for the top three schools include trophies and certificates, a handheld electronic device from the CFS, CSF, with science software used to collect, analyze, and share data from various experiments, 
and the CFC approved miniature science kits for biology, chemistry, and mathematics. I'm sure many schools would love to have those. One student rep will also travel with a teacher to Florida for an all expense paid STEM ambassador program. The tour includes visits to the Kennedy Space Center, the Museum of Science and Industry, and Disney World's Epcot theme park. Now, I wouldn't tell you which I would prefer to go to because all three sound very good. But I want to say to many of you here today, because all of you will not be winners, do not be discouraged. Please view this as an inspiration to enter again with a new, renewed rigor and even more imaginative project, project for you, for your school, for your community. It doesn't just have to be your own little school, but even your wider community. For so those students listening who did not enter or who did not have the confidence to bring their project to the table today, you know that you see, you've seen what your peers can do. Bring your ideas to the table. Come out next year. We look forward to receiving all of your entries and making sure that the improvements that we see will bring total improvements to the way we live and the way we operate across the region, not just in Barbados, but across the region and the world. So students, I wish you the best. I know the decisions have been made. I don't have a clue who the winner is at this stage, but to those of you who have won, congrats. And to those of you who have not won, continue. Don't give up. If you really believe in STEM, You've got to keep at it. There's